So what's up guys, uh, welcome back, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from, I hope you guys are very much doing okay. Well, finally, David has been stored, and I think eh, this is what real boss is supposed to do. If you have issue with anybody about money, sue that person. There is no need to call out anybody, there is no need to, 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 to throw shade at anyone. Just go to the court and demand your money. Remember the NFL boss who claimed that David Doe was paid and he refused to perform in Delta State. Now he has sued David Doe for the sum of two point something billion naira and is asking David Doe to apologize again. Abu Salami has not sued David Doe, but he still calling David Doe a thief. We are going to address that. Let's just keep that one aside first. Let us talk about our own president. Bola Hamed Tinubu and the way he disgraced, humiliated his son recently. In public, in public at, at the FEC meeting, he had rightly came out to say, See, the one you know the Roman pardon for this hall. I only invited few persons discussing the matters of Nigerians. Including my son there, I don't even know what he's doing there. It is not acceptable. It is not acceptable. And Tinubu is getting a lot of recommendations for this. A lot of recommendations for this. Last week I noticed the audio assets of people sneaking in and out of this castle. Including, I saw the photograph of my son. So he's sitting behind the cubicle there. That is not acceptable. The, I will announce to you, those people who are supposed to be here with my consent, and this is a large man, as a policy, by your Nanuga information and strategy. I keep Mori Okola, principal, private secretary, and Damilot Maderemi, private secretary. Those are the people who are granted exceptions to be here when we are conducting the business of the nation. Unless I sent for you. But unless I send for you, do not come. That is the Nigeria president, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, recently humiliating his own son, his son, and other personnel who were disturbing his meeting with some officials. The meeting popularly called fake meeting. Fake meeting is organized every month to discuss the disbursement of funds in Nigeria to discuss Nigeria issues and where to channel funds and money into. He was there recently and he noticed that his son was roaming about and other people were, were making noise. Then he had to stop the meeting to address it and said, this is not acceptable and except I sent for you, you are not supposed to be in this meeting. But this is not the first time we have seen President of Nigeria humiliating or trying to fix a certain issue. I will call Tinubu matter fixing because obviously it's not acceptable. So I will call it fixing. He's trying to fix this particular matter that is not acceptable. After all, so was supposed to be there because it's not a government official. Of course, your daddy is the president, but the son was supposed to be there. And the son and the father made it clear. Although we know exactly what Shei Tinubu did for the dad oh, and how he went around, but it's the father now. You know, father became matter, you know, they pull him out. They also close their mouth because they might go home and they, of course, uh, reconcile and then you will be in trouble. <laughs> so they know they pull mouth for father Piki and the uh, uh, wife and husband. So, like I was trying to say before, this fake meeting, this is not the first time a president is, is uh, putting in place relatives. 
Remember our former president, uh, that is the person of uh, uh, Mohamed Buhari, what he said about his wife. International television, when he was asked why his wife was uh, going about castigating his regime, he said the popular word, my wife belonged to the kitchen and the other room. Of course, you guys know that popular saying now. He came for our president uh, addressing his wife. It belongs to the kitchen and the other room. <laughs> well, let me know exactly how you feel about that and uh, if you support uh, Tinubu for doing that because me, I absolutely support. Like, he has gained a lot of public uh, 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 credibility with that video alone, honestly. Ah, this man is a strong man. He's a strong man with strong will. Strong man with strong will. I do not know, guys. So let's uh, move down to David Oves Horse for my NFF boss. Well, according to a Punch newspaper, they said failed show. Pinnick suits David O demand 2.3 billion naira and apology. Say so David O must apologize to him after demanding for 2.3 billion dollars so you guys will recall in worry few weeks ago Pinnick came out to address the show and he said apparently i think about how much was the money he said he paid the video 150 million naira to come to that show and also 30 million naira to charter a private jet and David Doe refuses to come for the show. He said it. Then he also said, one of the biggest uh, person in this in the in Nigeria currently now is Bonham Boy. And Bonham Boy is not showing pride. You know, also brought Bonham Boy into the whole mix. Then David Doe immediately responded and said, I already told you months before that show. That I wasn't going to make it. I already informed you months before that show that I wasn't going to make it. And not just only that, you went ahead promoting the show with my name because you would have informed the general public that David Doe wasn't coming, then you won't be selling tickets out of David Doe's name. That's the whole matter. Pigney paid David Doe for a show. David Doe informed them that he wasn't coming months before, that he had some issues, family issues, months before. Then, Picnic went ahead uh, promoting the show with David Doe's name. Maybe that was the reason David Doe said, you know what, since you are going ahead promoting a show that I told you I'm not coming, I'm not going to pay you back because my service alone for advertising with my name is what that money you are paying me. I'm not going to pay you back. Then David Doe vowed. He said, instead of giving you that money, I am going to give it to soccer charity. I'm going to give it to those footballers you are refused to pay. I'm going to give it to all those old legendary footballers that you have refused to give their money and you have refused to assist them. And you have ripped them off. I'm going to channel that money to them. That's what David said. And Pinnick at that today quietly kept quiet and now he's suing David. This is what a real man is supposed to do. If you feel that your right has been tempered with, go to court with evidence. And let the person come to also speak. We are waiting for Abu Salami. To sue David o for his 200, with, uh, 250 million naira, he alleged that David o took from him. So we are still waiting for him. So, guys, let, let, tell me who you are supporting with between David o and uh, the former NFF boss. Then, to end this video, guys, to end this video, there is this video we saw from a church. A church of uh, worshippers filled with women, just women, 
single women. It was called Singles Prayer Conference 2023. Single Prayer Conference 2023. And I think I can see both men and women there. Single Prayer Conference 2023 of single ladies praying for wives and also single men, also uh, single ladies praying for husband and single men praying for wives. Okay, I'm gonna marry you that said that. See, the kind of men single ladies want in this country, they are mostly not available for everybody. They will pray, I need a rich man. I need a man that can sustain. I need a man that can do this. But you forget the economic challenges. All those kind of men are not much again because of the economy. And men are afraid to even get married. Even a man with money, little money, that can rent an apartment, buy one car, even get have a house. He is afraid because he doesn't know how certain the future is in this country. He's afraid to get married. Responsibility scares men nowadays. If it was, if it was like the old days where you have a farm, you marry, you give one plot of land to your wife and uh, to be to be farming and everything, it was a little bit easy as a then. But right now, it's not that easy. It's, 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 it's hard on us. Really, really hard on us, guys. Really, really hard on us. So please, eh? Women, when else you are praying, eh? just say, I pray for a man that is God fearing. Finish. God fearing is okay. Don't say money. Don't say responsibility because they are rare nowadays. They are rare. There are many men in the market, too. There are many. But the one that can take care of you, respect you, God fearing at the same time, ah, they are real. Let me be honest with you. So, but God will find you your own. Though. I pray for you, God will find you your own because they are real. Except you want to go for a Yahoo boy or a froster out there. No, Allah. May we use you, no money, in the nearest future. No problem. <laughs>